Hi everyone, welcome to JD Gardens. If you're new to the channel, please plant that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. Well, as you can see, we got hit with snow this weekend. We got about six to eight inches. So there's not too much that we're gonna be able to do outside. Uh, I can't even get to the compost piles covered with snow. But thank God we have a greenhouse so we can get a few things done. I figured this is a perfect opportunity to show you a trick on how to keep water or get water to your greenhouse during these cold winter days. So come on. So a big problem that gardeners have when growing in a greenhouse over the winter is getting water to the plants. Now, unless you have uh, running water to your greenhouse, uh, which uh, most home, gardener, uh, home greenhouses don't, uh, that can be a bit of a problem. Now, you can uh, get yourself a large watering can, fill it up in the kitchen sink and bring it out here and, and water the plants, and that's fine. Uh, but uh, depending on how big your greenhouse is and uh, how many times a week you're going to do it, that's going to be a, a big pain going back and forth to the house. Now, another thing you can do is uh, get yourself a water hose and come out here and water every other day or whenever you're going to. But the problem with that is you're going to want to be really diligent on draining your water hose because if you leave the water hose lying out with water inside, it's just gonna freeze up over the night and ruin your water hose or it'll be filled up with ice uh, next time you wanna water. So that becomes a problem too. So uh, a good idea if you have a greenhouse is to get yourself some kind of large uh, plastic container like this one and fill it with water. What we do on those warmer days, we'll bring the water hose out here fill it up this one's about a 40 gallon uh container you've seen me use these before for other things and uh then this should last us about a good two weeks or so and then we only have to bring out the water hose once every two weeks which isn't bad so as you have this uh watering can now i know uh this uh, excuse me this uh uh 40 gallon uh container I know a lot of people are thinking they're worried about uh, ice uh, over the, depending on what kind of greenhouse you have. Right now, this is a cold frame greenhouse. We haven't brought in a, a, a serious uh, heat source here yet, uh, other than the, uh, than the uh, um, soil cable that we use inside to keep the roots warm. There can be a problem about uh, um, water freezing up. And yes, that can happen a little bit. See, but all you're gonna get is like a, maybe a thin coat of ice like this is a whoop, thin coat of ice because whereas it can get really cold in here it can drop to uh, under uh, 20 degrees at some times whereas the plants can be fine obviously water might freeze up but right now it's uh, not even noon and it's only going to get out of a nice sunny day as you can see i'm squinting and uh right now the thermostat's reading about 100 degrees so it's uh cool. it's actually pretty warm in here so during the day all the heat is gonna melt anything that freezes up overnight so having all this water around makes it a lot easier if you want to if you have a watering can all you have to do is uh, kind of dip it in here and uh, actually so hot in here right now this cold water is actually kind of refreshing so and that's it all i have to go around is uh whoop is uh give some water to the plants and I'm fine, I can come here whenever I want and do that. And like I said, this uh, a watering can for a greenhouse, this one's about, uh, I mean, a, a tank this large for a greenhouse, this is about 12 foot wide by 22 feet long. And uh, like I said, lasts me actually over two weeks. Now, if uh, you have a lot of uh, planter beds like we do here, uh, using a watering can like this can be a bit of a pain too going around because uh, i've worried about coming dipping it back in here and, and filling a can up and going around so we have another idea for those who are interested and uh, let me set it up and i'll show you how that goes so if you don't want to use the watering can a cool little trick is to get yourself a uh, what's called a water transfer pump now this is a simple one that i have i got this at harbor freight i'll leave a link for this below and it's actually you can either plug it in the way i have it right now or it's actually battery operated now i use this for other things but uh this actually works great what what i'll do is i what i do is i run a hose 
inside the, the 40 gallon container or whatever you have. And the water, what happens, gets sucked in through here and it'll blow out through this side. And on this side, what I like to use is a small water hose. This is actually an expandable one. You've uh, probably seen these before. And I like it for a couple of reasons. One is when it, uh, when it expands out, it'll stretch out to about 15 feet. So it lets me get around the greenhouse. But when, uh, it, when it uh, goes empty, it'll start shrinking down and all the water will come out. So it helps a lot to draining because like I said, we don't want anything freezing up. And since it's so small, it's easy to me disconnect this and take it inside the house and I don't ever have to worry about that. So what you want to do is get yourself a small, uh, I mean, to get yourself a watering head. Uh, you can use, uh, like I said, it's a standard hose. Uh, I'll leave a link for this below as well. <laughs> Try it out. And uh, you can just water this way, but obviously I'm going to want to use on the shower mode here. So just kind of close that up. Now this is going to make a lot of noise, so you probably won't be able to hear me too well. If you want to step back a little bit. So it's real simple. Like I said, this one's plugged in, but it is battery operated if I want. But as I turn it on, it'll start sucking up the water and look at that how great is that There you go. This transfer pump will make short work of watering your greenhouse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you liked this uh, idea. If you did, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And be sure to hit like and subscribe. So until next time, remember, yes we can. Uh.